Good morning and welcome back to Bertie Bus. The one and only YouTube channel. I think we should start doing that other way around, though. So. No, it's better. I'm, no, better I'm, I'm better. Oh, no, I'm Especially better. Especially now you can hear me properly. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> so we're just setting off from this wonderful place we stayed at, the Travellers, our place of refuge. The tavern, even. The tavern, yes, even that, even the tavern at Hemmingsfield. Uh, lovely, right, enjoyed it. Uh, free park up. And uh, we have been at pub a couple of times, as you know, which is no hardship, is it? So we are leaving and we are going to go and get some gas from Morrison's because I, I know there's no gas up Scotland. So we'll top up with LPG and then we're heading to Fleetwood. So come along, guys, for the trip and uh, we'll see what we get up to, shall we? Let's go and see what this park up's like. I've got a park up at £5 for 24 hours. So we're going to see what this is like. That's a park up in English, not park up in Barnsley, <laughs> by the way. Park up. That's what is what it? I said, a park up. No, it's not what you did. It's a park up. You said park, park up. up. A park up. Park. We're going to have a park up, guys. A park up in uh, Fleetwood. I didn't say it like that. <laughs> we're going. We're going to a park up in car. We're not. To, to, to Fleetwood. <laughs> we're going to a park up in the car. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, I hate this. This makes me nervous. I'm going to stand back over here. Let's hope it's not going to leak. Mm -mm, standing back. Don't like it. Is it? I think they put a new nozzle on the end of it, but yeah. it's a lot tighter. Yeah. Well, it's the nozzles you use then, not nothing like that. It's connected to, to, to my adapter, I think it's a problem. But yeah. it's got to seat on to end, aren't it? And no, it's that so one's tight. not leaking, is it? It's good at Marysons because it's pretty cheap. How much is it? That's nine. Pence. Pence per litre, that's quite cheap, isn't it? Because a lot of places are like 140. Is it full already? Yeah. Brilliant. I'll take that. Job done. That's a nice nozzle, that one. Like that. It is a nice nozzle. <laughs> <laughs> nice, uh, yeah, good one, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Who are you laughing at? You. <laughs> Some petrol for his generator, what we're going to try out. But it's only a small one. Oh, I can just see one. Oh, it's an helicopter. Yeah, nice houses. Lovely houses. New one, they love. Yeah. Sand dunes. I love sand dunes. Dogs love it in there. Oh, it looks lovely, don't it, John? It's a big beach. It is. Hmm? <laughs> Got you all your attention, haven't I? Yeah. There you go, buddy. They're what you used to have. What do you mean? Ginger nuts. I <laughs> <laughs> thought that took you. Oh, poor buddy. You're not used to have ginger nuts. No. <laughs> you not anymore, have you? <laughs> Get down. Look at 
Timmer. Oh. I'm sure we're having them. They're bad for you. Um, they're bad for them. Um, look at this an idiot. What an idiot. I wonder how long they're going to keep doing this. They keep doing hmm. Oh, and another one coming. Another one. Are we sure about this, are we? I've just paid twenty-five pounds. I'm afraid if I wait, okay. This is the beach at St Anne's. Wow, miles of beach. Let's see. It's right down there. Bloody hell. Motorhome's Park just stood behind the back of that bank there, didn't it? Yeah. Miles of beach. Yeah. Let's see, gone. Get Brucey off lead, finally. Can we see any other dogs that may spring into action from miles away? Good boy. It's like Sarah Desert, this. This is insane. hell. When's tide coming? How big is this beach? There's no quicksand, is there? I mean. <laughs> Where's pub? This car park, I'd feel a bit better if there were the motor homes here, mind you. But I'm just worried about boy racers. But all uh, down this end, guys, you can see motor home says there, motor homes only, which is pretty good. How many spaces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight spaces of motor homes. How much were it, Zoe? I'm off you know, don't the wrong thing by getting two nights if we're not keen of it. Yeah, if it's noisy you mean. Yeah. Good morning, nice sunny morning this morning. It was a quiet night in the end. We didn't have any more boy racers, did we love? Yeah. So and we had two more motorhomes come in and uh, they left this morning. Well they came last, late last night and left early no this morning. Always one still here, apparently. But yeah, it was alright, weren't it? Love a bit windy, yeah. but yeah, it were, it were good. It was very windy. Oh, she's here. I, mean, I loved it. The van were rocking. <laughs> <laughs> and because of wind. <laughs> That's all the reason why it rocked. <laughs> yeah. Still keep trying to polish the van out, don't I, love? That's taking forever. I keep doing it little bits at a time. It's like a nightmare. And another job we've got to look at is this bloody skylighting bathroom. I know, are you going to sort that out? Because I'm fed up for it to keep coming open. Yeah, it's um, skylighting, ba skylighting bathroom. I don't know if you have any problems with your skylighting in your bathroom. But it has keeps coming open all the time. So, uh, and I keep locking it and it keeps bloody coming open again. Every and I can't I can't work it out how the hell that's coming open at all. That is a complete mystery to me how that comes open. I know, every time I go in bathroom, it's open. I don't know what happens. Go, you yeah, but I lock books. it loads of times as well. Not just you. Mm, I have to lock it, it, and it's it's just keeps popping open for some reason. So when we're driving, it's flapping about. It must be when you go over a bump or something, it comes uh, open. I'll show you what I mean, guys. I'll show you our skylight. And maybe you could shed some light on this one. So this is our skylight. Now that's locked now because the bar's above this catch here. And you push that in, as you'll know if you've got one of these, you pull the bar down and the skylight opens. So when I'm traveling, that's shut, it always makes sure it's locked like that. But when we're traveling, does it come open? 
And what I mean by it comes open, it's like, then it's like that. And then it's it's loose and it's flapping about and I'm gonna end up losing the bloody thing. Now, how the hell it's doing this, I don't know. So I know you can buy locks that go under this handle which I might have to do to stop it from uh, coming open all the time because it's driving us mad, this. So I don't know what's going on here. I can't for life me think how that is actually coming open. I have no idea. Can't believe Bruce this morning, can we? No. Bodhi and Millie have never ever done anything like this. Even when Bodhi were a puppy, you didn't. But we've had this side window open here, haven't we? And a, a dog's walked past. Um, and this is quite high off ground, this window. As you can imagine, I'll show you from outside. And a dog's walked past and what's Bruce gone and done? He's completely cleared the window and gone straight through it. Straight through it, straight through the window, into the car park. Ante. Yeah, the little bugger. I didn't break his legs, I don't know. No he, hesitation whatsoever. He, Boom, gone. And you try that. she tried grabbing onto his arse as he disappeared through the window. Oh, he's That's gone. Oh, gone, burn it. Oh man. <laughs> that was so, scary. So we can't have window open too far now. He didn't come back limping or anything. That was scary. I never thought he would have done anything like that. No. But he's got no sense, has he? He hasn't. He's not scared of anything, is he? He's not scared of nothing. Just straight, straight out at window, he don't care. No fear. Absolutely not. We're a nutter. <laughs> okay. So the mystery of the skylight in the bathroom. <laughs> now we've been talking about it has come to light. This has been going on for weeks. And I've been scratching my head thinking, how the hell is this skylight coming open? I can't understand how it's getting past the catch. So, talking to Zoe, and I'm saying, well, oh, make sure it's locked every time we travel, but every time we seem to stop somewhere, I'm always going in the bathroom, and the bloody things come open. <laughs> then I'm going in the bathroom. And Zoe's saying, yeah, she says, and every time I go in the bathroom, it's open. And I went, bloody hell, how many times is this guy like coming open? Because if I'm locking it, and then Zoe's locking it as well, yeah. it's just constantly coming open, this skylight. I can't believe it, what's going on here? It's... Anyway, I've been scratching my head for weeks with this, and I'm saying I'm going to have to get a lock for it. I can't understand what's happening here, and I'm testing cash on it. And we're having a conversation about this skylight, the same conversation about this skylight coming open. Now, I've just filmed it, haven't guys? And I've just been explaining it to Zoe. Now the mystery's come to light, hasn't it? As to what's been going on. So, I go in, and as I've shown you, I lock it above the catch. Okay? That's in the locked position. It won't come open. Zoe didn't understand that memo. And when she goes in the bathroom, she sees the bar above that catch that is locked. But she thinks it's unlocked. Because it's above that catch. So she's setting the bar <laughs> below it, okay, and walking away thinking it's locked. I'm going in the bathroom and thinking, bloody things, come home again, how's this, how's this happening? Lock it again. Then when I few, go in, she I'm goes in a few days later, unlocked. oh, it's come unlocked this again, um, and owns it, <laughs> but she thinks it's locked. So when it's locked, she thinks it's unlocked and lock, and, <laughs> and unlocking it, I'm going in. I'm going in and it's unlocked. <laughs> and I'm saying I'm sure I'll lock. Yeah, but that catch thing at top, you'd think you'd have to be below it. So it's locked, eh? Um, and the funniest thing is, we've been having this conversation for weeks. <laughs> saying, oh, this bloody skylight, it keeps coming up and I don't know, it's coming up. And, and she's saying, oh, yeah, she says, every time I went back room, has it come open? So I'm, she says, I'm having to lock it. And I went, well, I'm having to lock it as well. Every time I come in, it's open. And I'm saying, John, that a skylight needs sorting. <laughs> Unbelievable. So actually, what has been happening is we've been fighting each other <laughs> with a skylight. Never even dawned on me. Didn't quite understand the logistics <laughs> well, of the skylight. You know, just said to you a lot when it oh, went underneath the catch. <laughs> All this time, weeks, I have been pondering over this skylight, thinking, how the hell does it come open? Anyway, mystery solved. Mystery solved, now I've explained it to Zoe how to lock a skylight. You'd think after two years of motor roaming, 
We'd have worked this out by now, wouldn't we? We've love? had this van, what, over a year, so has this been going on all this time? All this time. <laughs> God. Oh, man. Give me a break. <laughs> what, we dog disappearing out at window? Now we've fathom up skylights. What else are we going to do today? God, no, we're best staying. Oh, dear. Unless something else goes wrong. Anyway, so we don't need your advice on that one. We've sorted that one, haven't we, love? Between ourselves. <laughs> Now we know we're not fighting against each other, are we, love? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear. So funny. <laughs> so this is where we parked the Fairhaven Road car park at St Anne's. And this is the car park. Want to go for a wander then, love? Yeah. I think um, for a car park park up with no facilities, it costs £15 a night, or it's £25 for two nights, which we don't mind paying, but it is on the, the top end price for a car park, I would say, because at Scarborough we were paying £6 for 24 hours, so it's a lot cheaper. Now, there is another park up in Fleetwood that costs £5 for 24 hours, but it only takes motorhomes up to 7.6 metres long and we are 8.6 metres so we can't fit in there. So that is a lot cheaper if you can get in there and you've got a smaller motorhome. They have stopped the parking on the front here. Uh, you used to be able to park on the front here for free. Uh, residents have complained, there's been an objection put in and now you're not allowed to park on the front here overnight. I presume you're okay during the day. There was a couple of more trumps came in last night, late on and left early this morning, so I guess you could come here stay at night for free and then go and park for a day elsewhere where it's cheaper. But we're not doing that. We don't mind paying it, you know what I mean? It's uh, what it is is what it is. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? How lovely is that, Zoe? It's lovely, isn't it? A waterfall. How lovely is that? Ooh. Oh wow. That's lovely. Yeah, the coloured water, aren't they? It's like a yeah. green. Is it green or is it blue? Yeah, it's like a, a, a greeny blue. <laughs> it's a greeny blue. Yeah. Are you going across the step? Uh, no, not with him. I'll end up in it. That'd be so funny. Yeah. I think you should do that so I could film it, Zoe. I don't know how deep it is and I can't swim. Let's find out. <laughs> not with this loon. Beach just down there. Yeah, there's some beach chats and all. Yeah, some houses there, Zoe. <laughs> some sky and some some benches, and we've got dogs. And, and we've got a bed here and all. They're next to me. <laughs> no, that's not very nice talking about Bruce like that, is it? But I agree. <laughs> Just miles and miles of beach, isn't it, love? Yeah, there is. Sun's out. But I'm not saying it's colder, old, but bloody hell, that wind's freezing. <laughs> Like winter. Oh, bloody hell. Just looking at this monument here. I wonder what it was. And it's the biggest tragedy for lifeboats in 1886. 27 men lost their lives trying to save the crew of 12 Germans in a vessel. First lifeboat was launched was okay. The second one was launched was from St Anne's and all 13 men on that lifeboat lost their lives. And then a third lifeboat was launched uh, to try and get the survivors, obviously looking for survivors for the second lifeboat. And then that one capsized. And out of the 16 men on that one, only two survived. Bloody hell. 27 men lost their lives trying to save others. Wow. Wow. St Anne's Pier. It's too cold to sit on that beach. <laughs> yeah, but there's no sea. It's right out there. I know, I thought, don't it ever come in? 
done. I'll have. Must do. At some point. St Anne's Pier. Amusement here, so you don't need to go in there. I amuse you enough. Oh, uh, you know what that is? Statue. Yeah, but was it on? Was it Man. like Les Dawson? Was it Les Dawson? Les Dawson, yeah. Some kind of the resemblance. <laughs> Bronze statue of Les Dawson, you see? They're my facts for today. Get you. St Anne's town. It looks very nice. Doesn't it? Well, these were bus stops to start off with, but they're not, are they? No, they're just called eating places. It's just a seating area, isn't it? Yeah. Having a nice coffee, aren't we, my lover? It's lovely, yeah, yeah. Away from wind. Yeah, they're all the way down, these seating areas. It's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. How good is that? Look at this dog there. And Bruce is there and not reacting. Hey, Bruce, hey. even when there's food around, no reaction. No, no reaction at all to the other dog staring him out. He's a it, good boy. It depends when, what mood he's in. Right, now it's nice here, isn't it? You know, we all these gardens and stuff. Oh, nice look, look, palm trees. Did you tell dogs I was going in for some treats for them? No, they've not really spoken much love, to be honest. They've not, <laughs> not had much of a conversation with them, to no, be honest. They've been, they've been quite chilled out, to be. they've not really said much. <laughs> no, because it looks like they knew I was from going in for something for no. him. No, I've not, I've not talked to them about it at all. <laughs> I got a treat each. You can see it. You can see it. You're all sitting nicely. Oh, God. Aww. Ow, my, my bloody finger, he grabbed a little dirty to the treat. Ouch. <laughs> you mistaken my finger. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's on floor. Go and grab it. That looks good, Zoe. Sounds in the square. Weekly live music every Wednesday, 1 till 2.30pm. From May to September. St Anne's on the Sea Town Council. Oh, very good. Got to say, I like it here. It's lovely. Some shops down there as well. Sun's out. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have a wander back. We've got some subscribers coming, haven't we? Love to yeah, bam. Yeah, and uh, grandson. And grandson. Coming. Can't wait to meet us, dogs. You must be mad. <laughs> I hope they behave. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, uh, hope you guys guys are okay, and uh, we're gonna have a walk back, aren't we? Yeah. And uh, we'll pick this vlog up again in the morning uh, as we continue our travelling up the coast, I guess. So I hope you join us as we start to head up the coast and head towards Scotland. So uh, take care guys. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.